as you can see, Amstap doesn't have any tail hair on her tail. So, so as she came this way, this was either um, all her hair fell off. Sometimes they get injuries on, on their tail and then they don't have hair that grows back. So we want to look to make sure she doesn't have any fly eggs or anything like that on the outside. Of course, we're going to clean it up really well, but without that tail hair, she's going to be unable to shoo the flies away. And we have a special ointment that we'll put on to kill all the potential flies and fly eggs and, and fly mm. larvae that's there. So I don't see any on her now. I do have photos to show you later, but that's really good news for her that she doesn't have any there. Flush it, use your hand and kind of flush this area. You can use one hand with the water. You kind of get wet doing this job, but it's okay. This is more of the Chlorhex solution. You're going to kind of lightly scrub that whole area. So, yeah, just like that. So kind of a light. Their skin is very thick, but it's also very sensitive. So they can feel all the flies on them, that sort of thing. We don't want to be too rough with them. We want to be nice and gentle. Then she's good with that. And then you're going to flush like a power squirt. So you got to stand far away. And then we're going to do the trusty laser again to see if we can help that healing go faster. Okay. She's had this kind of like a chronic wound. And hopefully while we're here, we're using the laser. Maybe we'll take a look and see if we can make her bedding really soft for her and, and help. It's nice so you can see um, the skin is coming back over here. Yeah. yeah. And there's always a little bit of pus, but pus is part of the normal healing process. So I try not to scrape too much of it away because it it's supposed to be there basically. So they're very big, strong animals, but they're also very fragile. And so even something really little can be a big problem for them. And then the last thing we're going to do is put on this um, silver sulfadiazine and mixed in it with is some turmeric that helps uh, decrease inflammation and it also helps protect the flies. The flies don't like the smell of it. So you can take a big old wad of that and spread it all around and spread it around as well so the flies won't lay any eggs there either. And I really like mixing the turmeric in because it makes a nice thick paste and helps it stick on a little bit better. Yeah, so elephants uh, tend not to get cancer as frequently as many other mammals. They live a very similar lifespan as we do, uh, but they have a lot of mutations in their p53 gene, which is why we think uh, they tend not to get cancer as much. But there are some cases of cancer in elephants, so it's not something to take completely off our rule out list. Keep it in mind, but it's just more of a rare thing in elephants. Yes.